Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, so I got this really cool customer service ICCG homepage that I created. It looks good. So now I'm working on one for procurement. I really want to have a great representation of what would be needed in the procurement world. So we're going to have some analytics and programs and monitors and things like that. So this this is my homepage and what, what I would want to see. Excuse the mess, it's kind of messy. I have some things not working. I'm, so I have some analytics. I need to put some more data in here. I'm, I'm the only one with late order lines in the system. I can't let that happen. I have some programs and I'm filling those out. And, and, and one of the things I want to do today is showcase the M3 information creator. So what is that? What is the M3 information creator? Well, it allows you to access every API in the system. I think every, if not everyone, most. What is an API? This is an API. So I would like you to memorize this word for word so you'll know exactly what an API is. All right, you ready? Or just remember it's the way to get data in and out of the system. They're predefined gateways, right? So all right, don't read any of that. That stuff's boring. Okay, the key is in M3, there are over 6,500 APIs. It has been built for integration. You can pretty much talk to it in any way, shape, or form that you want. Any third-party software that accesses APIs, integration is not an issue. So what this widget does, you can tap into an API. In this case, what I want to do, I'm in procurement, I want to put in a purchase requisition, okay? Widget. So imagine someone in manufacturing, imagine someone in sales, they want to put in a purchase requisition for some IT equipment, you know, what, whatever that is, we could put this widget right on their homepage, right? Really, really cool and handy. Let's do that together and you'll see how to put it together. We're gonna to add a widget and the widget that you're going to want is called M3 Information Creator. Widget that can be used to create new M3 data. Works with any M3 APIs that support creating a transaction. Basically a transaction creation widget and we're gonna use it for purchase requisitions. So after you add that widget, let's go ahead and do the configuration. So the API we're going to access is PPS170MI. How would you know that? Because I just told you. And basically that's the program where all the proposed purchase orders are created. To give you an idea of what we're going to do, if you were in the world of proposed purchase orders, and let's say you wanted to create a proposed or planned purchase order, if you systematically wanted to do it, which I don't think you would want to, but okay, you're going to hit create, you're going to fill in this information, and you're going to hit next. And that's going to create a planned purchase order on some buyer's bench. And we're going to hit next cost, we're going to say 10, so now, if I were to look at purchase order proposals, and so it populates my bench and it would be underneath my buyer, and but nobody wants to do that, right? I mean, let's do something way more simple. And that's why I wanna use this widget. Does the same thing, but much simpler. So back to our widget. So we got the PPS170MI, the transaction is create purchase order proposal, input fields, these are the fields that we're going to need. Warehouse, item number, supplier, date, how many do you want? And you know, I think I'm going to put purchase price as well. And we're gonna say, hey, you know what, you need, to, you need to input that. So we'll save it, and that's it. Let's rename it. We'll call it purchase requisition. So now, if I wanna put in some data, let's say, ah, oh, you know what? I wanna put in that, and let's grab an item some hangers, and we're gonna grab those from Acme Supplies, and I need them Monday, and I need 100, and this is going to be a status 20 order, just means manually planned. I'm gonna say, you know what, 20 bucks. System will calculate this for you, you don't have to put this in, but give you an idea of some of the configuration. Success, I love it when they tell me success. It makes me feel good inside, it helps my self-esteem. So now, if I go into my planned orders, I should see this guy sitting out there. Let's take a look. And as you can see, here it is, just like that. In fact, I'm even getting an action message saying, wow, you need this ASAP, you better reschedule it in. And there's a few things you could use this for, really. Like, if you wanted to, you could use it to do some GL transactions. 
You could create some items, locations, you know, just just a, a real quick widget to be able to add things. Maybe even create a customer, something on the fly if you so wanted to. So a few, few different ways, just wanted to let you know that's out there. Just a, a, a simple way to create records in the system without going in there directly. Hey, thanks for watching again. Hope this is helpful to you. Please like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And like always, I appreciate you viewing it.